let's discuss the prime meridian. The prime meridian is the longitude that has a value of zero and from which longitude position is measured. The first thing that you should know about the prime meridian is that its position has been in many different locations throughout the world over time. Just in the United States, you can see five different locations that were used for the prime meridian. The old Naval Observatory, the new Naval Observatory, the White House, the Capitol, and Philadelphia have all been used. Outside the United States, there have been many, many, many prime meridians that have been used. I highlight three on this slide, even though that there are many prime meridians. The first that I'm highlighting is the Faro Meridian, which is in the Canary Islands, which is what Ptolemy considered to be the westernmost point in the known world and was used as a prime meridian until the Middle Ages. When the age of exploration was occurring in the late 1400s through the 1600s, Oradera, Romania was used by certain cartographers to make maps. Explorers Columbus and Vespucci used this as the prime meridian in their maps. And then there's Greenwich, England. And there have been multiple prime meridians that have passed through Greenwich, England, including the Bradley Meridian and the Airy Meridian, or the Airy Transit. Let's look at the Greenwich Meridian because it's something you probably have some familiarity with. The Greenwich Meridian that we use today was defined by Sir George Airy, who was the Royal Astronomer in England in the 1800s. He calculated what is known as the Airy Transit, which is what we now call the Greenwich Meridian. You may know that the Greenwich Meridian is what we use today as the prime meridian for many applications. But what you may not know is that this meridian hasn't always been the prime meridian. When did it become the prime meridian? Well, the answer to that was in the 1880s when Chester Arthur was president of the United States and he convened a meridian conference to decide once and for all a prime meridian to be used for both measuring time and for creating maps. So in 1884, the International Meridian Conference was held, which fixed the prime meridian at the Greenwich Meridian or the Airy Transit. So why did the Greenwich Meridian get chosen as the prime meridian? First of all, there was historical precedence. The Royal Observatory had become the preeminent center for astronomical research and timekeeping and its location had already been used for the calculation of longitude at sea, which was crucial for navigation. What used to happen was there was a cannon at the observatory and boats would come up the Thames River and the cannon was fired and all of the clocks on the ships would be synchronized to the time that the cannon was fired. Another reason that the Greenwich Meridian became the prime meridian was because the U.S. was using it. By 1884, the U.S. was using Greenwich as the basis for its time zones, and the U.S. was the driving force behind creating an international standard. Another huge factor as to why Greenwich was chosen was that by the 19th century, over two-thirds of all ships in tonnage used charts based on Greenwich as the zero-degree line of longitude because so many people were using Greenwich as the prime meridian in maps at that time, it just became the de facto standard for international navigation. One of the things that's kind of interesting about the prime meridian is the IERS reference meridian, or the IRM. This is the zero line of longitude that is used in GPS. IERS is the organization that's responsible for maintaining global time and reference frame standards. What's interesting about it is that it is not located in the exact same position as the Greenwich Meridian, in part because the Greenwich Meridian was based on what's called local vertical, which is defined by local gravitational direction. The IRM is based on geodetic longitude, which is based on the center of Earth's mass. 
So if you see the prime meridian and we zoom in and travel to Greenwich, you will see, first of all, here's the Royal Observatory and here's the Greenwich Meridian, the airy transit. The cyan line over here is where the IERS reference meridian is, which is 102 meters to the east. So if you have a GPS unit and you go to the Royal Observatory and stand on the Greenwich Meridian, the longitude value shown on your GPS unit will not be 000. zero, zero. In the next video, we will cover writing and converting latitude and longitude coordinates because you will encounter the written form of coordinates a lot in GIS.